Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on Cooking with Shotgun Red and we have a special treat today. Today we're making a super easy taco casserole. You know, we like Mexican food. Oh gosh. And gosh. this is so simple. We've had a lot of people requesting mm -hmm. casseroles. You know what? What? It's got cheese. And you know how we like <laughs> cheese. It's got cheese! Yes, we love cheese. Oh. Okay. What we're gonna do is take you back to the stove and show you how we get started. Okay, so we got our skillet on medium high heat, and we've got one pound of ground turkey. And we're just gonna chop this up. And by the way, we have the link to get one of these choppers at the bottom of this video. There's a lot of people have ordered one of those. Oh yeah, it's great. And they seem to really like it. And then one cup of sweet onions, diced. We're just gonna sprinkle that in here. Just look at the steam. Smells great. And we haven't got to the good stuff yet. Oh, yeah. You know, the tur ground turkey is a really good thing to cook with. You know, especially if you're trying to be a little healthier. Okay, so now that this is browned up, we're going to add... One cup of medium salsa. And I like to use the medium salsa because it gives it a pretty good taste. Mild is just a little bland for me, so I like a little kick. And then one can of sweet corn drain. Love that sweet corn. I'm going to scrape it out of here. Mix it together. And then one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Gotta have cheese. And one cup of sour cream. Can't have taco casserole without sour cream. And mix all that together. And this is such a easy, quick casserole to throw together, but it's got a lot of great taste. But it's so super simple. All right, so we got a pre-greased 9 by 13 baking dish, and we're just going to pour this into it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add in, I took a, a Ziploc bag and I crushed up some of these corn chips, tortilla chips, and I'm going to put about three quarters of this in here and mix it in. Mix it all together. Which it adds some crunch to it, which I love crunch. Mm, anything crunchy. Yes, I love crunch. Once I mix that in a little bit, it doesn't have to be completely mixed in, but just, just some. And then, I have another three quarter cup of cheddar cheese. And then I'm gonna put the rest of these crushed tortilla chips on the top, just a little bit. We've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees. And we're going to put this in there for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then I'm going to add a little bit more stuff to the top. About 5 to 10 minutes before it comes out, you want to take a little bit more cheese and just sprinkle that on top. And I did the cheddar jack. And then I added a little bit of green onion to the top of it. And doesn't that look good? Mm. Okay, so we're going to just close this up, put it in there for another 10 minutes. Jen, this looks really good. Wow. It's, it does. And it's really simple. Very simple. And, you know, 
it has a lot of flavor and it's super easy to bake and it just looks delicious. It's only been in there for 20 minutes total. You don't need it in there a long time because it's already cooked up. Are you ready to eat? I say we dish it up. What do you think? I'm ready to eat now. And then I'm going to just take some of these tortilla chips and I'm just going to place them around the edges just so it looks pretty. And voila, doesn't that look good? Mmm. Mmm, I'm ready for some of this. You could make a dip out of this too, just for a party. If y'all were only here, you get to taste all these different things. That's what I love, love, love about cooking. And Steve would say, is this the best taco casserole? If, if it, it ain't, ain't, it ought to be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Well, that's she, she, and Jen, Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe. Then you're subscribed. Next to it will be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.